hey guys welcome back to other interesting video uh, so today uh, we are going to a look a furniture design uh, we are at episode 14 so uh, today it's going to be a very interesting it's going to be a 3d parametric modeling uh, which is going to be helpful for an interior who is going to be um, do a wall mounting uh, for a parametric or a geometrical uh, shape so uh, we can't be use solidworks to make such models so there are many software which is going to help in that way but we're gonna try with the same thing in the solidworks uh, to implement such a design so uh, without wasting much time let's get started with the uh, a new part I'm gonna select with the frame plane and gonna start with a frame so uh, as you have seen in the thumbline the same thing which I'm gonna create here uh, like I'm gonna select the frame plane and from there from the center I am going to use the center triangle and I mean a rectangle uh, to fix the boundary which I would like to have uh, 600 by 300 this is my frame size of that particular uh, geometry design which I'm going to freeze now so uh, again uh, I'm going to use here in the same sketch uh, it's going to be a, a spline uh, which is coming from this something like random design you can play like however you want it not like you know it has to be something uh, uh, a dimension it has to be there but roughly we will make a dimension but I'm just assuming a few things which it will help us to make some designs something like this yeah fine so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna make some uh, a dimension randomly I'm gonna give uh, to give uh, some alterations if at all required in future let's just I'm gonna give the dimension and this is supposed to be at okay some months of high or something like that okay fine so still uh, i just want that curve has to be smooth and i just want this also be like something like this yep perfect and now i just want to bring a little closer and this also to be like this something yes and we'll try to make dimensions 165 So we'll make 20 uh, maybe 30 it's close so we'll make 30 yes so yeah still uh, it looks good you can play something like this also better and uh, on the same way uh, you have to create a, a center or uh, mid of the profile like how uh, the passage has to get I mean the overall profile has to pass so center line also should be uh, enhance the profile accuracy uh, to follow as per our need else it will follow as per the guideline and it may end up with a different auto uh, center to create a different profile as we need uh, so we have to create a center line must but uh, while creating uh, by using the loft you may be coming to know why I suggested to use the center line okay cool so I'm gonna come back I mean come out of the sketch so uh, this is how uh, our frame gonna look and the cut of the profile should be uh, follow under this plane I mean the wave what we have created so I'm gonna select the right plane so I just want to have at one uh, this side uh, which I would like to create a profile Yeah, something like this something like this yes I'm gonna select uh, 20 will make yes but I just want to make sure this has to happen at this end okay don't be fine and this surface to this face I just want to maintain some 15 uh, yeah fine looks good similarly we have to create the profile of the other side of the frame I'm gonna select this as a reference I'm gonna select okay 
and the sketch okay that's why i don't want this plane to be visible okay i'm gonna hide this so that it won't be any much difference i'm gonna select this to profile something like this and again from here to here yes perfect so at this side we are going to maintain the same for both perfect four four should be okay so now we have to profile and guide course also do we have so now let it go for and surface module and gonna select the loft here we are gonna select this profile and it has to join with this profile so now we have a straight but we have a guide course so we are going to select manager in that we are going to select the individual entities uh, to follow under the curve so now again we have to select the other uh, curve so as you can see like this is not uh, as per our requirement but still like if you want you can go ahead with that without center line but still uh, if you want to control the profile you can always use this profile like to control your uh, center curve I mean center profile so now <coughs> a smooth cut is well, get ready now I'm gonna do this like I'm gonna select the mm, front plane and uh, I'm gonna use this as my reference for the frame and I'm gonna delete all these entities which is not required so that I can go ahead with a planar surface so I have created a flat surface I'm gonna use a uh, trim surface now uh, it's in the mutual so that we can select multiple uh, surfaces at the same time and then we can remove the surface which is not required so we want to remove this two which have been already selected so now uh, we have three so which i would like to combine all uh, three as a single surface yes perfect so the profile is get ready now i'm gonna use friend plane as a reference again i'm gonna offset like how much i want it's supposed to be at back side so uh, i'm gonna use 30 mm as my uh, need but if you want you can also modify the thickness of the frame so now uh, i'm gonna select okay sketch coming on to the planar surface the reference sketch which i would like to copy and gonna do a convert entity so going back to the futures I'm gonna select the extrude so this will help to make the same profile how the surface which we have created so i'm gonna select up to the body and then i'm gonna select okay now perfect so uh, the surface is no more required so i'm gonna remove that surface now i'm gonna delete that so our 3d profile is got ready now it's perfect now the pending thing is like which i want to remove so uh, since we have created a 600 so i just want to create same uh, uh, 6 mm thickness and 6 mm clearance uh, between this part like I'm gonna create six I'm gonna create six again I'm gonna do a, a texture throughout both okay perfect I want all all bodies to be created yes perfect and again linear pattern which has already been selected automatically I want only select the direction and now I want the space to be 6612 and it is crossing more than that like should be 50 something like that yeah perfect I'm gonna select ok again it will ask for an all body I want all body to be there like so it will be easy for us now perfect the part is get got ready now before that I uh, forgot one thing so in order to make a smooth profile if you would like to have you can use this fillet option so you can select the edges like how you want to be create so uh, so once you have this all uh, smooth like we are on 10 mm which have been selected like yeah it depends on your cutter like you can be selected that so now it is the smooth profile if we got ready yeah perfect so uh, now uh, you can use this option like go for uh, DFX, export DFX so that you can use individual uh, part uh, for the laser cut and to trim it and also in the back side you can just make a, a, a kind of a frame in order to cut and just make a clamp and try to mount 
with your uh, wall and how do you want to make an interior design this is how it has to be done and if you want you can also just make the color of the material like um, uh, just I'm gonna edit the color I'm gonna select uh, some random material of wood something like that so that it will be easy for you to visualize the thing yes so we have to make some cut and create a frame or mounting to arrange all the parts and then get mounted with your concrete wall or how you want to do keep this into a restaurant or a reception or however you want so um that's all about this today's video i uh, hope you guys have been liked uh, please do subscribe and check out my channel in the playlist a lot of uh, playlist, playlist which i have made uh, please do subscribe support uh, see you in the next video bye mental thank you Thank you for watching.